Hey guys, this is Jen with Bunda Tech USA. USA. Um, today I want to do a quick video on the Wild. So this is actually the unit we had at Overland Expo um, in May this year. Sold to some customers, they're actually coming to pick it up tomorrow. So before it gets on the road, we wanted to do an inf informational video for you guys. Give you a little bit of information on the Wild and some of the key features that we have. Um, so on this particular unit, we have a new product from Bunda Tech out of South Africa. And this is their Bunda Cube. So this is a privacy enclosure, um, attaches directly to the sidewall of the camper. You can put it on trailers as well. Uh, we put it on the side of the camper here. Um, super easy, just like the awnings. So it's got the zipper here that opens. Same ripstop material for the case. And then the enclosure itself is Velcroed in place. So it's just two Velcro straps on the outside. And then this pulls out. It's kind of hard because it's on the ground here. Um, but then these come out and lock into place on the top and the bottom so it gives you tons of space um, showering changing great for any condition um, same ripstop material as well so great quality as far as durability out in um, out in the field when you're using it putting it away just as simple so each side these brackets slide in it folds in on itself and then just roll it back up and put it in the bag. All right, so that's the Bunda Cube. Um, another key feature on all of our units, as you know, is the docking station, um, which on this one we located um, underneath the privacy uh, shelter, so you can use it. So inside the docking station, you've got your city and your uh, fresh water, as well as your outside shower, um, and then a USB port or a 12 volt outlet we put inside here as well in case you need outside power. Um, these hatches still spin up out of the way. Um, another new feature that we've added to all of the units for those of you looking to boondock um, and get off grid is a gray water uh, port which is here. So what this is is if you're out boondocking and you don't have access to city water on a hose you can open this and still get gravity fill to your fresh water tank, creek water, um, water from your roto pack, on whatever it might be, this is a great alternative when you don't have water pressure and need to refill your tanks. So um, this unit also has the Truma on it. So if you guys were at the show, um, always gets tons of interest. We're really awesome to work with Truma and be able to offer that to you guys. This hatch here on the outside is access to your Truma. So super compact water heater and furnace combination unit here. Um, great feature, super quiet. Uh, I know Rory and his wife use it personally. They won't use another one. They um, tried the standard water heater furnace, but the combination unit here uh, really makes a difference when you're camping. Long term, you get extra storage, uh, saves on weight. I think it's about 20 pounds um, saving as well. So this particular unit, we've got insulated windows in as well, which is another great feature that we offer. Um, those come from Dometic. A couple other outside features on this includes the roof rack. So this has a two bar roof rack system um, on the roof so you can haul uh, gear, kayaks, that kind of stuff. As well as you'll see underneath the roof rack, we've got a 170 watt solar panel on the roof also. Um, we were gone, had this at the show for, we were gone a little over a week. We never not had a full battery. So the sun's out, the 170 watt solars from Zamp really do a great job making sure your batteries are full um, for the length of the trip. All right, so another feature that you know we offer on all the pop tops um, are the amazing awnings we get from Bunda Tech um, out of South Africa. So this unit here, we did put an awning on, obviously. Um, showed really well again at the show. This is the half, uh, Bunda half, so it's eight foot long. Covers 90 degrees on the camper, so it'll come down this side and wrap around the back. So we'll let you take a look. On the back of the wild on this one, um, in addition to the awning, we added uh, the Rotopack fuel mount. So we put a fuel can on this one um, versus a water. Um, in the future, me personally, I'd probably travel with water over fuel, uh, but the Rotopacks are great. Um, this is definitely for the fuel pack, but single one here uh, works really great. We had a fuel pack on Rory's unit for the show. Um, only thing we noticed is when you do have fuel in it, they say to burp the tanks. So just open a little bit, let the air escape. Um, all of the units still feature the uh, folding assist handle, 
Uh, great for security when the unit um, is in use. Close it in front of the door. Keeps the door from swinging open if for some reason it doesn't get latched all the way. Um, and then on the wild particular, as you know, it also features the cassette toilet. So in this particular model, we use the bench style cassette. So um, dumping the holding tank, just like any other cassette toilet from Thetford, simply just slide the tank out, dump it anywhere. Um, the bench styles has its own freshwater reservoir, so you're not using off of your onboard freshwater tank. Um, so it's a great feature to have um, and great addition to the wet bath, uh, which option, um, which comes standard in the wild. Um, so now we've got, we'll take a look on the inside. Uh, we've got a couple of new features on the inside as far as the canvas material and some changes that we've made. Um, really some great features that we want to make sure you guys take a look at when it comes to the wild. All right, so now we're inside the wild. Um, all the lift systems are push buttons, so it's all simple. Uh, two latches on the back, two on each side. Push of a button on the inside and the roof raises. Um, biggest thing that we've changed recently or that we're phasing into change is the canvas material itself. So you'll notice when the roof was opening, instead of being the white material, it's now the green material. Green material is Ripstop. It's a US product um, that we get from our local supplier that does all of our tents. Same ripstop quality, we've been really impressed with it. A lot more flexible, um, tends to come in a little bit easier when you're lowering the roof, so really makes a great addition and it changes the look um, on the outside even. Um, give it a far sharper appearance, we feel, um, for the ripstop material itself. So a couple optional features that we added to this unit to help show people is the all popular lagoon style table leg. Um, so this is available in all of the models upon request. Um, kind of going to gauge its popularity as far as making it standard or available as an option. So Lagoon Table, full 360 degree swivel, um, great feature for getting the table out of the way when there's more than one person inside the unit, um, as well as just giving you access to the inside of the unit and functionality. You can put it anywhere, um, storage, great when working from inside as well on a laptop. I did it quite regularly at the show in the evening um, and it worked out really well. So. This is a new optional feature that we're offering for people. We get a lot of people that asked it, so we wanted to make sure to show it to you as well. Um, small L-shaped dinette in the wild, which is standard. In this particular model, uh, we use the fridge by Nova Cool. So the biggest reason we went with Nova Cool on these units is this uh, fridge has a smaller footprint. So it allows us to still keep the projection in up front, but keep it as a minimum to give you a lot of floor space. So this one here is 2.5 cubic feet. Um, does have a small freezer in it, um, drawers, or excuse me, shelves on the inside, um, storage in the door, just like a standard fridge, um, but it really works out well for small, being a small unit um, for the half ton, great fridge. We've never had any problems with it. Really been impressed with Nova Cool itself um, as a brand. So on the inside, you'll also see these ducts here, these four inch louvers. Um, these are for ventilation and for the truma itself, making sure that airflow gets to the truma as, as well as um, the ducting for heat to escape and come into the unit to keep it warm um, when you've got the furnace running. So up here in the front wall, you've got large storage up here next to the fridge, um, as well as the housing for your battery. Then the truma is accessible from the outside um, on the left there. Down here on the inside, really can't see, but we do now put in a battery disconnect as well, um, so that when you're uh, traveling, you can make sure that when you're parked, you're not gonna draw off the truck battery and make sure that the onboard battery stays as fresh as possible. Um, down here below, you've got your low point drain for your water tank, as well as the view of the water tank itself, so you can watch your water level when you fill it. Um, also have some room for storage down there as well. Anywhere we can give you additional space for storage, as you know, we like to do so when possible. So kitchen faces, we've added the voltmeter now to the units um, to help let you know what your battery is. Like I said, this one's at 13.6 with the ZAMP solar panel on the top. Uh, we've had it out since the show got back and we've had a full battery the entire time. Great for people driving by when they wanna take a look. I don't have to worry about rounding up a battery charger to make sure we can raise and lower it. Um, dual USB ports still standard on all the kitchen faces um, as well as the single 12 volt outlet. Um, storage in the kitchen, plenty of that. You've got a drawer, uh, th three actual doors themselves, and then your uh, 25 amp converter uh, from Artera as well, which is your power center for um, the unit itself. So all of our units, as you know, also push button latches, um, helps keep the doors secure when they're shut, so you don't have to worry about something coming open and your stuff falling out as you travel. 
Um, this little black dot here is your thermostat gauge for the Truma, so your thermostat knows when to t kick on and off based on the temperature that you set it at. Next to that, we've got the lifting mechanism operation for up and down, as well as a patio light switch and your on-demand water pump, which is also standard in all of our units. Um, and then we do offer a GFI outlet in all the units as well. So when you are plugged into shore power, you have access uh, to 110 power for those appliances you might travel with when a campground versus boondocking. So on this one, we also added the popular options of the glass top sink and stove. Um, so this is the glass top stove from Dometic. It is uh, spark ignition, so you don't have to worry about lighters. Um, just push the button, you'll hear the pilot strike, um, and then once you light the burner, it'll light. A reminder on the glass tops, this here is not a cooking surface, it's just a splatter guard, so we open that uh, towards the mattress itself to help with any splatter when you are cooking. Um, and then just make sure that the burners are um, slightly cooled before you lower it down. Um, but glass top, great feature for opening up the counter space, and especially in such a small unit. Um, so next to that we have the glass top sink, another extremely popular option, um, one that all of us seem to enjoy, especially Rory and his wife when they do their traveling. Um, inside the glass top you get um, the dish strainer which sits um, on the glass top itself when it's open, as well as a wash tub. Um, the deep sinks, you can actually fit normal pots and pans inside, you don't have to worry about uh, making a mess all over the place when you're trying to do dishes. Inside of that, um, like I said, dish strainer, um, as well as a cutting board. So this is great as well. One less thing you have to buy um, and store with you when you're camping. So all of it stores inside of itself and then folds down flat when not in use again. We've also upgraded um, and updated all of our faucets. So now rather than a standard faucet, we actually have one that does the pull out. Um, so this is great. I know I use it all the time. Um, I've used it to wash my hair even because I have long hair, um, which this makes a huge difference when you're doing dishes just to make sure you can get everything clean um, as you travel. So kitchen, we've also got, like I said, insulated windows in this unit, uh, roller screen and shade. Great feature for when you travel. Um, you can keep it open during the day if you don't want the um, don't have the window open and don't want the blocking from the shade uh, from the screen itself. Um, but great windows, um, imported from Germany. We get them from Dometic. Extremely popular. They have full range of motion, um, and then they also have a locking feature as you travel. Um, so you can actually travel with the open position. You don't have to worry about your window leaving the unit as you get into wind because um, it locks it in place. So that's another great feature that we really like about uh, the Dometic insulated windows. Um, so as you know, another feature with all of our units is north and south sleeping versus east and west. Um, so this unit, obviously, north and south sleeping. A couple key features on why we do that. One, it allows for easier access for two people to get in and out of bed as they need to. It also allows for the large amount of storage underneath the bed, um, which is great. Uh, full storage, I know we've used rolling totes inside there before. Tons of uh, space for all this stuff, bedding, blankets, anything you don't use a lot, we put in the front. Anything that you need readily available, we kind of store at the back. Um, the other thing with all of the extended cab overs is the hamper storage on each side. So you've got tons of storage on each side. Um, a hamper door goes all the way back pretty much. So you've got full length storage for clothes and other things on the side, as well as a cup holder in the front um, for everyone that likes to go to bed with a glass of water, as well as charging ports um, on the driver's side of this unit with the dual USB and the 12 volt outlet as well. All right, so with the Wild, um, as you all know, this is the fully self-contained. So this is the half ton unit that has the toilet and the shower. So I wanna go ahead and show that to you. So this door opens here. So you've got your bench style cassette um, from Thetford. Super easy to use. We showed you the uh, pull-out tank on the outside. Uh, Rory actually made a cedar um, standing board for on top of the shower. So when you're, um, if you have to use the toilet, you're sitting and your feet don't dangle, you kind of have um, something to step on a little bit. And then when you want to use the shower, you can remove it. Some people have suggested that leave it in place using the shower, completely up to you. Um, it does have the spray nozzle as well, um, so you don't have to worry about it. You can adjust it to fit um, if you're sitting or standing when you go to shower. Um, super convenient. And then we have a waterproof, um, semi-waterproof toilet paper holder here as well, so you can um, store your soap and your toilet paper. You don't have to worry about water getting to it um, when you use it as well, which is always great. No one likes wet toilet paper. Um, shower curtain here um, we've taken it out for the video just for ease but we do have a shower curtain that slides around here for privacy when you are using the shower um, just tuck it out of place uh, when not in use if you want to open the space up or you can leave it closed so people aren't can't see inside there as well but 
super convenient. We've been way impressed with the Wild itself. I know Mellow Mike from Truck Camper Adventure, he's also been extremely impressed with the unit. He's done a couple of reviews on it. Actually rated us number one for his half, um, number one in the truck camper market for a half ton uh, unit as well. We are extremely proud of that. Uh, but this has been a great unit. Uh, a lot of people with a half ton truck. Um, so this is really a great option for those that want to camp as a family and want to make sure they have a toilet and a shower with them as they travel. Optional overhead cabinets are also in this unit. So with a full length dinette, it gets the large two um, door cabinet on this side and then we've got a smaller single cabinet above the kitchen. Again, utilizes the push button latches. Um, great for cup storage, bread storage, um, tons of storage. Uh, like I said, we're big on that. So this is a great option for those that want to do long term that need extra storage. And then we give you um, the LED light in the center as well. You can choose one light or two. Um, great feature to help keep the dinette open, but give you as much storage as we can. All right, so that's the wild, guys. Um, when, like I said, multiple times, we've been really impressed with this unit. It's perfect for the half ton. It fits both the five and a half and the six and a half foot box. Um, great for those in families or those with a spouse that has requirements of a toilet and a shower needed when camping. So we hope you really enjoy. If you have any questions, visit our website, bundatechusa.com. Always feel free to call the shop direct, 319-234-0071. We'll put links and stuff below in the video for some of the features that we've got inside this unit. But hope you enjoy it. Like, have any questions, let us know, and we always are willing to work um, to fill your truck camper needs.